Watch out, watch out, let me get a shot. What they got? What they got? New video of the street-to-street -street fighting in Fallujah was released late on Wednesday. The footage shows U.S. Marines facing a resistance while advancing through the narrow streets of one of the neighborhoods of Fallujah. The insurgent fire is neutralized and they continue with their house-to-house -house touring activity. He's done. Just Throughout the day, Americans hit the militants with artillery and mortars, and warplanes fired on the city's main street and market, as well as the insurgent stronghold of Jalan, one of several neighborhoods where troops were skirmishing with militants. At least 71 militants had been killed by early Wednesday, the third day of intense urban combat. As of Tuesday night, 10 U.S. troops and two members of the Iraqi security forces had been killed. are ready and the casualties loaded in as carefully and quickly as possible. Then it's straight to the dusty strip of desert which serves as a helipad. Purple smoke marks the spot where the chopper must land. To take the wounded to one of several country. The Americans are sensitive about their military casualties. They don't want too much bad news to get out. They want the good news. The Palooka was a great victory will be in military terms, but that doesn't mean that they're about to quell the insurgency in Iraq. Lindsay Hilson, Channel 4 News, with the 1st Marine Expeditionary Force near Fallujah.